Fantastic, we're on a roll. Okay. <laughs> and you all stare back at me blankly. <laughs> Anybody else? Please. I was telling my colleagues that I have seen women cut. I have seen women open their legs. I don't apologize for the emotion. And when she spoke, the lady who spoke just before me, not the one who was in the white t-shirt, and she said all the things we tell our children. And I just want to finish the story I was telling about um, the first time I saw circumcision take place. Our neighbor was getting circumcised, and I went in very early to see what was happening. And I was, I think, at the most seven or eight years old, and I was watching through people's legs, and I was little enough to be looking from it, uh, in between people's legs. And this woman was spread out. It was about 6 30 in the morning. And this drunk circumciser is walking around. And at one time I can see the whole woman. Then she grabs the whole thing and she chops. And the next thing I see white before the blood begins to gush out. I have watched women being poured on Kilby's gin vodka, anything that will stop the pain. I have watched cousins being rushed to hospital, bleeding. I have seen women go and deliver in places where it's not my island, and they asked, did you sit on fire or what happened to you? The scar tissue is so tight that the woman cannot give birth. And today when I told a friend I was coming for the vaginal monologue, she said, why do they have to splay out a woman so indecently in newspapers for children to see? And I said, you speak because you haven't seen. This is nothing compared to what women go through when they're being chopped up. And so for many of you, FGL is something you read about, things that you think that you understand. You do not understand what it means until you're opened up and you're chopped up.